We are watching Tool Academy, a great show about tools in America. It was made in 2009, but it holds up, goddamn. And it's 10 fucking dudes signed up to the show under the guise that it was gonna be for Mr. Awesome by their girlfriends, but it's really a show to expose them as tools and for them to get better in their relationships. And uh, my God, more than half of them, I think like 90% of them have cheated in like the last week. The last girl I banged uh, was a girl by the name of Katrina. Uh, this actually happened three days ago. What does this look? What does this look over his girlfriend? It's great. I love it. And we're on episode three. Yeah, let's do it. It all starts now on Tool Academy. You might even call me a tool. All right, let's do it, baby. We can fix him 30 days with a therapist. We will make him not a tool anymore, possibly. Uh, Biggest therapy today? I'm just trying to wrap my mind around what's the topic. Respect or honesty or... Before we go upstairs, Jay, you have got to itemize your entire list of mess-ups. At this point, it seems like little Josh have got the most serious issues that need to be addressed because he said some very disrespectful things behind his girl's back. Like what? When? The makeup artist that one time, maybe? I mean, they were kind of coming at his girl last time. They actually made fun of his girl. You said that your chick does need to hit the gym. How many pounds do you think your chick needs to lose to make you happy, dude? I've never actually asked her what her weight is. She could be 300, she could be 200. I mean, oh! I don't know what they're talking about. I was going through my head of what I said about my girl. I f***ed up really bad talking about my fiance's weight. I've never actually asked oh, her yeah. what- Oh yeah, are they gonna show that to her? I'm like better off having sex with like a blow up dog, but. And I have so much making up to do. I'm gonna have to start from scratch. I gotta put that out there. You really gonna go through with this? We can all make an agreement because we're in therapy. If you I'm don't hold yourself accountable, do you agree that we show them accountable? Uh, is that we gotta all hold each other accountable. What is happening girl. here? I feel like they're all pretending to turn a new leaf right now because they all want that fucking money. They all want $100,000 and they know they're on camera all the time now. So I feel like Clarence is just trying to appear like the most like reasonable dude in the room now. They all have problems. It's weird to be like, we gotta hold him accountable. We gotta hold that asshole over there. That guy who's more of a tool than me, we gotta hold him accountable. So we're gonna all hold him accountable to this because he does one thing in the room and he's a totally different person when he gets into therapy. This can be your first step in, in, in progressing, it. man. If I don't fess up and... It's like if you were having like a fucking intervention for your friend who's like, I don't know, heroin addicted, but all of you guys are coke addicted. You're like, dude, you got like a real problem, man. And like, meanwhile, you're fucking ripping lines like real fast doing key bumps. And you're like, dude, you got to chill on the drugs, bro. We got to hold you fucking accountable for this shit. The girl's villa. But she walked in with the shirt that showed her nipples were crooked and I know! <laughs> Whoa, what conversation are we in? I want more information. Oh, they're talking shit about Ida? I don't think Ida is really in love with Sean. Bro, don't these girls fucking hate her for no reason. <laughs> Whoever did her boob job f her off. Yeah. Girls do this? I didn't notice on even tits, I was personally. Like, who does this bitch think she is? His opportunity is over it's as far as I'm concerned. Is. Holy shit. I don't care about what's going on in the house. Dude, this I'm is like Mean Girl's house. Myself. I'm blocking everything else out. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, poor fucking girl. Holy shit. I, mean, I think she's kind of crazy, but, uh, you know, six years I could fix him. But, like, I don't really know what she did to them exactly. Please report to the therapy room. I never look forward to therapy because I always do bomb. have footage of us like talking bad about our girl. Please have more footage. Another. They're bombs, dude, like Hiroshima or something. This sucks. That's the second Hiroshima reference we've had in this show. I'm surprised, honestly. Nice to see you all again. Hi. This week's lesson is humility. First of all, can I be honest with you? Okay, well, What's two of these fuckers in this room have made up nicknames, Mega and Celebrity. This one is gonna be really funny. Like humor, right? Is it humor? Humility? Humor? I got humil humor, humility. Okay, so part of what has made you bad boyfriends is your outrageous egos and your vanity. You lack humility. Don't worry. You fixate on your hair, your muscles, and tattoos. In a way, that's your armor. It protects you from being vulnerable. Today, I'm going to ask you to drop your armor and confront your fears by being totally honest with your girlfriends. This is the essence of humility. So I'm going to bring one guy out of the couple at a time, and you'll put on the bulletproof vest. And then we're gonna shoot you. If you can take it, you've moved on to the next challenge. I think it's going to help you 
feel protected. Trina told us guys that we had to stand up, put the bulletproof vest on, and I just started thinking to myself, be a man, step it up, be honest for once. Okay, so, Sean. I was kind of getting nervous to see what Sean had to Is there to really say, no other thing to this bulletproof vest other than it being a metaphor? That was on his, I'm not perfect, and I don't expect Sean to be perfect. I just want us to become perfect together. Would you like to start? Um, yeah, the, um, all the problems in mine and Ida's relationship is with me, 100%. It's not with 95, 5%, 100%, okay. All of her friends date really, really minted dudes. I mean, we're talking guys that like make millions of dollars every year and stuff. Minted, and nice. I feel insecure. And it makes me feel sometimes like I just want to give up and um, do something bad. So was that a means to smash the relationship? Were you trying to smash it? Yeah. She, Interesting. She deserves something better than me, and I've always known that. I don't believe any of it. <laughs> I think that she deserves so much better than me that I cheated on her with another girlfriend. I think he's rationalizing it that way, but there's no way. Crying, I yeah, just immediately love crying. For exactly who he is. And I'm proud of who you are, and you should be too. I know that good person that you are inside in yourself because I believe in you. And I really love her, and I just. I want her to know that like, I really love her. Very yeah, vulnerable. I'm not mess up again, you know? To my surprise, There's no I way I messed this up for the 27th time. I think we all owe you an apology. Um, we didn't think it was real. <laughs> and we didn't give you that chance coming in. Thank you. But like, uh, as soon as people see tears or like, this is real for sure, I don't know about that. They immediately switched up like that. That's all it took. Once he put on the bulletproof vest, now I think it's real. This changes everything. Um, Rob. I'm not that type of guy that's like, pour my guts out, you know what I mean? And this is gonna be the hardest therapy session there's been so far. Gunner, if it's so easy to fake, then you cry right now, bitch. Here's the thing I'm gonna say. If you're in this situation, in this room, and everyone's being emotional, I think you can get yourself to cry. Me getting myself to cry right now, I mean, that's really fucking hard. I don't think I could do that. I think I got water. That's not terrible. I, I got a tear. It's getting there. But in a full room of people, I think it's much easier to cry if everyone's being emotional and stuff. That's why you see people in church crying all the time. It's like, are they really that way or is it just because everyone else is being that way? I haven't been to church in 10 years. I just assume everyone's crying all the time. And maybe that was a terrible reference. I don't know. All right, let's move on. I just want to say, uh, I run off of the way I feel in my heart. Right off the bat, right when I first met you, you know, like, I don't want to seem all corny, but Dude, I was just like, you know, I was like, I loved you right off the bat. Dude, I was like, I bro, I love, love you, bro. You know, I said I'd pay for you to go to school, dude. I said you didn't even have to have a job. And she's lived with her other boyfriends before. Okay. Well, whoa, whoa. Rob went off the fucking rails there. He opened up for a second and then went attack mode immediately. It's like, dude, I love you. And it's like, no, like, no, no, fuck you. Like, I do so much shit for you. Like, actually, what the fuck? You put on the bulletproof vest. Let me shoot you. You know, I said I'd pay for you to go to school, dude. I said you didn't even have to have a job and she's lived with her other boyfriends before and so it just seems like she doesn't like me as much as she dug them you're always trying to rush me into everything it's like you make the decision it's like it's, that should be something that we decide together i just want to be able to communicate better and know where we're both coming from you know but you do love her it looks like a fucking turtle really. and, and for me to be able to come out in therapy and say the way i feel and actually get backed up by dr trina it just reconfirms that I should actually speak up and say something about it in therapy instead of just arguing with her in private. Mega, would you like to take a stand? I looked at Mega and he looked away from me. I was worried. First of all, from the bottom of my heart, yeah, the girl of my dreams, I couldn't ask for anything more. He was there with me when the person I thought I was gonna spend the rest of my life with betrayed me. So she always be my best friend. Okay. It's hard for me to let go all the way when you've been betrayed. It's it's just hard. That said, I have heard that Matsu's girlfriend Jenna likes black guys, and I do have my eyes open. Just you putting gotta that trust out there. me. Now you're gonna have to take one step further and to build on this by keeping this guard down and being able to write another story for you. 
Whenever he gets really close to somebody, he feels like they get ripped out of his life, like his ex-girlfriend, and he needs to let go of the loss that's happened in his life. Well done. Okay, all right. We've got W so far. When Josh went into the therapy session, you could hear everyone under his breath going, uh, you better say what you need to say. I like bowling. Oh, Ashley, I love you very much. You mean everything to me. I know I'm here because I'm a tool, and I deserve to be here. God, they just keep saying that, dude. When they got nothing to say, they just rename the show. Like, I know I am a tool in a, a school, a place of learning, perhaps. It's like, yeah, you are on the show called Tool Academy. Yes, good start. What I'm about to tell you, it's going to be very, very hard. But I have a couple things that I have to confess. I'm a tool. I'm a weirdo. I have to man up and stop being like a big tough guy and actually show my feminine side and show her how I feel. I'm not sure anyone here thought you were the big tough guy in the house, but I'm glad you think that. I did talk about your weight. In front of everybody? <laughs> I said, you know, I don't know what your real weight is. I was roughing around at 200, so I kind of ranged rough. it higher. Like, just as jokes, like, it wasn't, like, I know you aren't that heavy, and I didn't mean any- Okay, I actually kind of feel for him here. I thought he was the only one in that room defending her weight. Am I crazy? They were all making fun of her weight, and that he said, it don't matter, she can be 200, 300, I don't care. But then he was a dick and said, I fuck up blow up doll anyway. But I thought he was the only one saying, I don't care what her weight is. And maybe I misread that. He was playing into it, is that what he was doing? No, I thought he was being more, like, supportive of it. So I kind of ranged it higher. Like, just as jokes, like, it wasn't, like, I know you aren't that heavy, and I didn't mean any of it. I'm really bad with weights, too. I would fuck that up. I just want Josh to make me feel beautiful. And I have, I have two other confessions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two other confessions? Maybe sprinkle them out over the week, man. Maybe don't do three confessions at once. That is a lot of confessions. I'm worried for what's next. I, I talked about calling you a six as like a six in bed. Okay, okay. I'm and adding on more. to the other one. Okay, got one more. <laughs> you know, I talked about a blow up doll. Like, I uh, thought it was funny. But in reality, after I did it... Oh, Sean's laughing. Sean's like, laughing, honestly, dude. You're the perfect girl, and I'm the f*** up. Well, I don't believe you. You talk about me behind my back. I don't even know if I can look at okay, you. Okay, I would have, if I was being smart, relationship-wise, you want to put all of those together as one thing. You want to package all that as, hey, I was being an asshole, I said some things behind your back at the same time. By making it three different confessions, that sounds worse. This all happened at the same time. Is that an issue between the two of you? That he puts me down. He puts you down. Um, and no. Your, and you. It's weight. like news to me. He knows I have an issue with that. You. You always tell me I look good. That's why this is like so hard because I didn't know he did that far on my back. What he I is in a fucking house of tools. I've never talked about weight before. It was. It was very hard and it was very heartbreaking to see my girl break down and cry like that. I have one more thing. Hold on. I want you to take this. <laughs> Joshua. Oh my God, is this a copy DVD of the Fantastic Four? Oh, what is it? Because I f***ed up and I'm trying to make it up to you. I love you, baby. <laughs> what is it? All right, now I'm done. So what is six Having six a gift ready was good though. This is my uh, bowling league I was in. My highest game ever. No fucking shot, dude. No shot. <laughs> I don't believe it. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I thought it was like a, a family picture of them or something. It's his highest bowling <laughs> score. Oh my God, dude. That is so funny. She liked it. I think she liked it, uh, which is weird. Wow. I take back what I said. Good job getting her a gift. You got her something that brags about your bowling thing, which she doesn't like how you bowl instead of give her attention. That's the nail in the coffin, dude. Break up with him right there. That's gotta be it. It's my second and third choice of life. My first one's Ashley. <laughs> For him to give that to me, it really confirmed that he was serious about this process. Ashley, come the fuck on. Oh, come the fuck on. You gotta be better than this. You see why these relationships are still staying together, though, when dumb shit like this, and they're like, you know what? Yeah, I do trust him again. I think I will stay in this relationship again, actually. Come on. He knows that he messed up. I can't even talk because I'm speechless. 
This is like one of his best bowling scores. You don't understand. It takes something real major for me to tear up. Yeah, that little bastard almost got me. Everyone, well everyone liked that. So Tommy, like, Trina says it's our turn, and I'm like so freaking scared. That's I was wild. afraid he was gonna make me look like an ass. Um, one of my greatest fears is the kid's father. Um, it's tough for when he comes around. Okay, she has a kid. Her ex-boyfriend really, really bothers me because they have history together and because they have two children together. I that want would be that. history. It makes me a little be a lot of history. I wish you would have said stuff. Those kids should be mine. Before. We're here because I don't want to give up on you. Yeah. Tommy's actually like thinking about things, and that's like awesome for him. Not the bar fair. is on the fucking ground, dude. It is on the fucking ground. He's thinking, and that's fucking crazy. I love him so much. Fix your up. Matsu flex, baby. <laughs> What's he got to do? Will we see Everybody some emotion? Fun of me. Dude, you're not having sex with your girl. I'm like, dude, it's not about that. I don't feel that it's my place to say, hey, look. Oh, hey, you, we're, we're making great progress in the last few days. Like, let's do it now. I want to know that she loves me unconditionally and, and I love her unconditionally. And there's a, there's a place and a time for that. Ryan's having a hard time with me. Not having sex is probably a huge issue for him. Wait a second. It so did they not have sex when they were in the room? They didn't. Ryan's having a hard time with me. Not having sex is probably a huge issue for him. It could be why there's that barrier between us. Can you not take yourself to that place of fully being in love and the I love you's and the affection because we haven't had sex? Because we're missing that element. It's not, a, it's not about the sex thing, you know? I I mean, if you really wanted sex, I think she was giving you an opening there to say that might be it. But, you know, he held back and he was a good boyfriend. He said, that's not about that. If you wanted to be manipulative, I'm just saying that was the opening right there. You know what? I think that is it. I think that is the issue. I feel that, you know, like the passion is there and I'm falling even more in love with you. You know, I'm falling in love with you. I love nice. you, baby. Damn, Matsu. We've made it this far and we've learned this much about each other. I mean, he kind of looks like so a ninja. I don't know what that means. The sex is going to be the icing <laughs> on the cake at this point. Like, literally. Oh, like. <laughs> you mean the streamer ninja? <laughs> okay, gotcha. I was like, I think that might be racist. <laughs> He kind of looks like a ninja. <laughs> There's no more celebrity. It's mm. Clarence. I'm ready to change. I'm really excited to common, find out what's next. Common gunner moment. Basically, um, I'm just here to say, you know, I don't think that I can change. Oh. Right now, I don't just, I just don't think I'm ready. Oh, baby. <sighs> I think that, you know, I'm actually gonna have to go back home and continue the way that I have been living before I got here. Damn. All right, this guy doesn't want the money anymore. God damn. Are you saying that you're not ready to change or you're not ready for this relationship? Um, I think I'm saying that I'm not ready to actually change right now. Celebrity has been playing the ping pong personality game. Walks in therapy, denounces celebrity, back to Clarence. And now, it's supposed to be Clarence, back to celebrity. So if you could make, wave a magic wand and not change, would you still want to be with her? We really need a cry counter. Like, it's actually insane. It's every single fucking therapy session. 25, 25, oh my God. Yes. He still I, wants to be with her. That, that, I, that. Being here is making it worse because I'm seeing Clarence do all the things to me. I could be better off alone than with Clarence. Cameron, I know it's hard. Can you try and look at him? <laughs> no. No. Not right now. Okay. Dude, that guy's got no emotions. Well done, everybody. You've worked incredibly hard. Well, that took a tremendous amount of humility. I'd like uh, Celebrity and Cameron, could you stay behind? Oh my God, she immediately went back to calling him Celebrity. Immediately, no Clarence anymore. Clarence is that type of person. He's putting on a show. And I've told him, if you're playing games, I can't do this. You're wasting my time. Do you want to just talk to me a little bit about how you're feeling? I'm like completely and utterly embarrassed. I mean, I'm just like... I'm sorry. No, it's not even about you being sorry. It's just about letting me feel my emotions for once. Just let me be pissed off. Let it out now. This is your space. No, you don't want me to get angry right now. But I get violent. Yeah, maybe we should get the punching bag before you. Yeah. Do you want to give a good old go? I would uh... love to. And she's had that ready. Where did this therapist go to school? I do not believe her education. There's no way. Yeah, here's the boxing glove. We got a body bag right there out of frame. Go ahead. We have his face on the body bag already there for you. Just get into it. Just go to town, right? 
It yes, really is right there. Let it out. Scream. Oh shit, she's got some good swings in there. The Your therapist back. is like, whoa. I, just, I wanted to pound his face in. Okay, look, I will be honest. If the roles were reversed, not to be that guy, if the roles were reversed, this would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> if the guy was upset, they're like, yeah, go take out your fucking anger on her over there. Just imagine that's her. God, and no, it's no. still crazy. That's it's definitely mean. still crazy. I hate him, hate him. I wish I could be scared. right now. God damn, dude, she even said it at the end. Holy fuck, they're fucking doomed. Can you imagine if that was an actual therapist's office? We got the punching bag right here. Just in case anyone gets too mad, I have the gloves ready. You guys can actually spar too if you want. Done this many times. If you guys want to go at it for a couple rounds, I got you. Everyone poured out their hearts to their girls. Sean, like, like I never saw you break down like that and you really got me tearing for a minute. Dude, I never broke down like that before. That's what I'm saying. Dude, I'm embarrassed to cry up in front of you guys. I'm not an emotional guy, and for me to cry in front of a big group of people like that was a very tough thing to do. I think it's gonna make positive change in yours and your girl's relationship. During the therapy session, everybody was pretty much coming out with it, but uh, it made me feel less crazy. It made me feel like other people feel the same way as I do. So to be fair, this is the first time that they've gone into the room together and the guys have not like shit on the therapy session. This time they're actually kind of emotional together. Let's get in here and get a progress. One, two, three, progress! Progress. Please report to the lounge for the humility challenge. Oh, it's like Are you guys ready for a field trip? Here we go. Here we go. Universal Studios. <laughs> but guys, this week's theme is humility. So this challenge will force you to humble yourselves. We're having the first ever Tool Academy bake sale. Wow. That's <laughs> right. All right. All right. The one who raises the most money will win a fairy tale date with their princess, which ends in a conjugal visit. I love what does princesses. Conjugal even mean? I love princesses. You have to put your pride aside and do whatever it takes to make the sales. Everything you need to stand out in the crowd is here for you. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. I'll see you at Universal Studios. Yeah. This challenge is all about humility. I'll be watching What's to see food, which though? of the guys put vanity aside and embrace the exercise, and which ones are too proud to really commit. You hold these, I'll get this. You're ridiculous. All food. So all fun. decorated. Fun for me, dude. You know what I mean? Well, that's like, what I'm saying. You need to make it fun. You need to like get outside your comfort zone. Just acting like this oh. is gonna make or break no, us, dude. Isn't. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it could help us out in the future. My man Rob, he really didn't want to participate in this humility challenge. He's a manly man. This isn't his style. Putting together boxes and cookies and stuff. He's Mr. I want to fight somebody type of guy. I'm Tripping, dude. You want to go step outside for a minute together? It completely hurts to have him like always constantly give up. He needs a body bag. Him. Sucks. Yeah. Be right back. I'll be right back. Dude, so this challenge out. is built to set Rob up. Everyone else is like, yeah, let's fucking do it. Let's dress up. Rob's like, this is fucking gay. Please, man. Please. Okay. All right, baby. All right, All right man. Thank you. All right. I don't mean to sound like, like a little bitch, dude, but it meant something to me for telling me to talk me into staying. Dude, I got to do it with my suit more. I'm Captain Cookie. Oh, my God, dude. Tommy's got a dress and a princess crown. Oh, Rob's outfit's awesome. Like, where's your chickens, bro? Boys ready? Yeah, baby. Hell, Sean. Cookies! I'm not buying awesome. cookies for them. These cookies got fucking uh, raised with them. All right, guys, just want to welcome you all to Universal Studios Hollywood. Yeah! yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah! Let's do it! Bake sail on! Yeah. I'm wearing a pink This helps them with their relationships? I look like a buffoon. I am a little bit embarrassed inside, but I know I shouldn't be embarrassed because this is all about humility. Cookies right here. This like is nothing compared to getting exposed on television for having a girlfriend for six years while cheating on the other girl that's on the show. This is literally a drop in the bucket. You should be the most prepared for this challenge. You guys want to donate to uh, the Tool Academy? This is California, that's what LA. Is this for? I'm in a, in a well, Tool Academy Universal because is. I was a bad boyfriend and I'm trying to make it up to it. I don't think Academy? you have to tell them that you're, before you're you sell them the cookies. Daughter. Now usually you can't put a price on love, right? <laughs> Today you can. Muchas gracias. Oh, smooth. Thank you so much. Smooth. This good salesman here. I like this one. In the bag.
bag like Santa Claus's presents for the kitties. Let's get it. You can't put a price on love. Today you can. You can't break that hundred. God, what That's a good opening too. line. Love it. I'll do whatever it takes to win. Stop Money touching all the fucking love. snacks. Can't. Is he just bare handing touching brownies? That's Dude, he's getting all up in there. What the fuck are you doing? Are you selling those right now? You're touching everything. Either you make money or you're just a bitch. Okay. Hard. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> hey, anybody else want to punch me for a dollar? I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Dude, you I would be hustle. fucking scared because he's got the fucking black eye already and like the cut on his face too. And if a dude like that would say like, yo, punch me. You're gonna hit me after I punch you. I don't trust you. Kick me in the ass for two bucks. As hard as you want. I'm not even selling cookies right, anymore. Go. Just kick my ass. Uh, Beat the right, fuck out of me. Play. No. Ah, weak ass Good kick. Job. I still have all of my cookies, but they paid me <laughs> to beat the fuck out of me. So I got somebody at least. As someone no, who didn't even nice, want dude. to do this challenge, Roberts had a turnaround and will completely humiliate himself. I think he's a masochist. Uh, I realized that I see buses of tourists pulling up, so I run over and oh, they perfect. want to take pictures with me because they think I'm kind of funny. I'll give you all the pictures you guys want. One dollar per cookie. You want a picture with me? Yeah. Hey, it's good times. Come on. There you go. It's and give me money. And give me money. Today, he really seems to be putting himself out there, even at the risk of looking like a fool. Definitely like all Asian come tourists, on, like on. not from America. Like, what the fuck is wrong with him? Is he okay? What is going on? I'm struggling a little bit. I'm going to start selling him a quarter piece if I have to. That's all I got. If that works what for you, that works. That Josh seems afraid to play the fool and as a result is having a difficult time raising money. He should set up some bowling pins and let them watch his strike. Oh! Ow! It's a dollar. Clarence! Five dollars, anything that you want. Give me a little spin. Ow! Thank you, guys. Rather than humble himself like the other contestants, Celebrity seems more concerned with showing off his acrobatic skills. I mean, that could be considered humbling. I don't know. He's doing it in public. Time is up. Thank you, Robert. I'm feeling good. You know, I took one of the stomach. I got kicked in the ass. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got some more in my pocket. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. They come up to me like, what? Why? That wasn't part of the chat. We never told you to do that. What are you talking about, Rob? I'm feeling good. You know, I took one of the stomach. I got kicked in the ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I got no some more in my pocket. Okay, it's so funny. Yeah, yeah, dude, one of my ribs you know is broken. What? I can't yeah, feel my legs. Yeah, yeah, dude. We'll start in third place. Robert. Nice job. Oh, yeah. So I guess it's got to be Sean that gets the most, right? Tommy, yeah. congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. And the winner of the humility challenge. I forgot my protein shake here. Sean. Yeah, Sean. Oh, All right. yeah. What the fuck? Is that? Oh, my God, dog. Congratulations. Chill nice the job. Fuck I out. can't wait to see Ida. I'm hoping to have um, a wonderful romantic fairy tale date. And get some. And get some and puss. Get some. Congratulations, Sean. You guys won the date and the contest. Definitely because he got all those Asian and tourists. I will see you out all the bus. Tomorrow night at the elimination. <laughs> he surrounded them. He didn't even let them go see Universal. He was a box of the mountain shit. He's like, yo, buy these cookies. I saw Sean standing there waiting for me like a prince. I'm so touched right now. I can't believe he won. Oh my God. What the hell are they doing? What is this Cinderella like ass fucking I need this day chariot? to rekindle mine and Ida's love and affection for each other because I had two girlfriends at the same time. I had to play catch up with Ida. I want to be like perfect gentleman, the perfect guy in the whole entire world. I'm willing to do anything to get her back. Dude, I wish they would bring on like a third girlfriend. This is Tiffany. They've been together for 10 years. Oh, fuck. I didn't think they were going to find her. Fuck. Shauna and I really needed to spend some time together alone to just be able to replenish the feelings that we have for each other because it's been kind of tough considering the circumstances that we walked into coming here. You want some champagne? Sure. The horse carriage ride was so romantic. We're going through this whole gorgeous property at this whole entire amazing place. It was a perfect moment. I'm just glad that you didn't walk away. I thought about it. I know. <laughs> so romantic. This is where the magic happens. Yes, this is where the magic happens. You think they're gonna do it? I know you're really frustrated nice. right now. It's been like a really long time. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna freaking do hit, hit, bang, bang, boom. It's not gonna happen. I feel like I'm completely falling back in love with him again, but I have respect for myself. I, I hope mean, that dude, they've been together for six years. I'm sure they've fucked a lot. I just don't think they wanna fuck on camera. I would never just go there, bang, bang, bounce. 
That's just not bang, what bang. I want. How are you not bang, so bang. sexy frustrated with me? <gasps> because, baby, it's not about that. I know it's not, but I mean, it couldn't hurt, right? Yeah, but we have a lifetime that we can do that. <laughs> Listen, I'm a uh, funny joke. Okay. But you're starting to get me mad. Okay, now I'm not getting mad. This sure. is my princess date. Can I feel like one? Of course. Ida, babe. <laughs> hey, babe, babe. Do you know how many fucking cookies I sold for this bed and this opportunity? Need I remind you, babe? It's okay, we got a lifetime. We got a lifetime together. 55 cookies, Ida. I sold 55 boxes of cookies in a tutu. I harassed tourists for 30 minutes. Can we please bang bang? Because I don't remember any sex scenes in Cinderella. I didn't want Sean to forget the reason why he's here. I wanted to set his priorities straight. It's not just based on one perfect night. It's the rest of our lives. Hey, let me get my jacket. <laughs> We're emotional and we're loving each other and it all ended in a very bad way and it really pissed me off too. It was three freaking weeks ago that we had sex. I'm dying, bro. Damn. Oh! I wanna know what Sean just got back. Is he gonna lie? It was awesome. Uh, yeah, I lasted 45 minutes. I wanna know what the Happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean gets back from his conjugal visit and we start rousing him because Sean was rousing me for my conjugal visits with my girl because I didn't have sex with her. Hold on, hold on, guys. Let me just tell you about the date from the beginning and then I'll tell you about the end. No one gets a f so did you guys bang? No. <laughs> it's not a race, it's Damn, he told the truth. <laughs> All of us are getting on Sean's case saying, why didn't you have sex with your girl? What's going on, bro? Are you just a big talker or what? And he starts getting hyped up. Hey, 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 I know, are you <laughs> hating on Because I just got the conjugal visit. All of a sudden, he felt like he was getting attacked by the rest of us because we were singling him out like we're all against him in the house. I'm not giving no, a Shirts are off. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Just started popping with Sean and Mega. You sold $44 in cookies. Hold on. You're the it's ultimate awesome. cookie sales, man. Don't try to punch this is your so chest funny, up like Bringing the cookies into it is so funny. I already beat you, you in cookie sales, happened, dude. Brother. Hey, you know what? I'm like a oh, girl scout. I sell more cookies than your mom. And then he starts talking about my moms. And straight up and down, homie, don't ever bring my family into anything. My mom was the best fucking Girl Scout cookie salesman ever. Three things you don't talk about. Politics, religions, and how many cookies your mom has sold. Everyone knows that. Don't fucking bring it up. Cheers, bro. F you, bitch. Bitch. Calls girl bitch. Damn. I know you fake. Fall back, bitch. Your girl is. Fall back. Whoa. All right, so now Mega and Sean got beef, Sean baby. Up. After I blew up, he tried to be the most dominant person in the room, and I had to be the bigger man in that situation. They're sitting bit, wickedly far apart. We got to a place that was emotional and dominant. I would never ever call your girl a bitch, and when you call my girl a bitch, that's when it got on, dude. In the heat of the moment, I felt the way I felt. And I'm a person that I have no regrets. I don't regret the situation, but I do apologize if what I did was offensive to your girl. If you're sorry about calling my girl a bitch, then I'm sorry about heating you up to the point, dude. In the end, he apologized. Okay. Honestly. All right. Surprised they made that work. I think the funniest line there was Mega saying, if what I said was offensive to your girl, I'm sorry. You called her a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> if by chance anything I happened to say was offensive in any way, I'm sorry. If it was. But we have to maintain bro it out. sanity in this academy. Tools bro it out. Before making my final decision regarding... Where's Joe Jonas? Frankie! Maybe. Kevin, my bad. I'd like to find out tonight if you're happy with the progress that your boyfriends are making and maybe why they should still be at the academy. Ida, we had an amazing time last night. It was an amazing date. I have to admit that I am falling back in love with him. Thank you. So, Ashley, why should Josh stay at the Academy Force? What he said yesterday was extremely hard for me to hear. Mm. For Josh to get up there and admit that he talks about my weight was huge for Josh, to be honest, because he's not. <laughs> but if he's that big of a tool and they don't keep him here, I'm left to go back to Jersey with nothing. I hope he does get the chance to stay, because there's so much more for him to do. Good. And... Cameron, what has celebrity really got to work on? Clarence is the biggest tool out of all these guys. He's 27 years old and he acts like he's 12. But he can as flip. much as I want, I don't think he wants it for himself. Mm. Thank you all very much. 
All right, we just didn't talk to the other ones? All right. Josh, what makes you think that you're going to be staying here tonight? Honestly, it's like a 50-50. Like, I've been true to my girl. I came out and told her the truth. I called my girl, like, a little heavy. I have a little feeling that, you know, I might be the one that gets sent home. And I might actually lose my girl. You know, it's up in the air, but I, I would know the reason why I'm going home if I am. I did a 360 turn and said that I wasn't able to change. The whole point of the academy is to be able to change, dog. And then I had that one-on-one -on -one therapy with my girl, you know, and uh, I actually feel like I really do need to change, you know, I do need to work hard on a relationship. I have to have that confidence, you know. I may be shaking in my boots, and I'm never gonna let anyone know that I'm nervous, but you know, I'm actually nervous. It's because I'm fine. A decision has been made. Those who have passed this week's lesson will receive a humility merit badge and the privilege of remaining at the Academy. Tonight, one of you will be expelled. Many of you showed remarkable progress this week. But one of you in particular did especially well. Sean, they step forward. Whoa, from almost getting dropped to the first person passing. Crazy. How did he do it? He sold cookies. That's all he did. And so now he's a changed man. Incredibly honest in therapy. And you won the challenge. You've passed the humidity test. His character arc is I crazy, dude. A few of you did a commendable job this week. Not only did you let your guard down in therapy, but at the humility challenge, you took risks and really put yourselves out there. I'm calling it. We're losing celebrity, right? We gotta lose him. Clarence is the only one who put on the fucking vest and was like, nah, fuck it, I ain't changing. How can he not lose? Rob? Here's your tool badge. Tommy? <sighs> nice. Matsuflex. Matsuflex, nice. Mega. Does his girl leave him, though? Good question. Let's only wait till we find out who loses remain. first. <gasps> and there are two of you left. Josh. And celebrity. Okay. And celebrity. Oh. It's gotta I'm be celebrity. Home. I'm sitting home. I'm still gonna have that loving relationship with my girlfriend, Cameron. And Are I know you that, though? You know, when she's sitting out there waiting for me, she's gonna give me a big hug and we're both gonna get in the same car together and drive off. Okay, he said that as if it's clearly setting up that it's gonna go the exact opposite direction. I think he's gonna lose and he's gonna go out there and it's gonna be the first time where it's like, nah, fuck this. One badge left, like that one badge is like, man, it's gonna be me or celebrity. I'm shaking, I'm nervous. Like, man, you know, am I gonna leave? One of you will be expelled. Dude, Josh gave his girl his bowling fucking award. There's no way he's leaving. That was really big of him. I do feel like Josh made progress in therapy. And that was a big step for him to do. But I'm always nervous going into elimination because you never know what to expect. Josh and celebrity, tonight, one of you will be expelled and have to leave immediately. Celebrity. Just one week after promising Cameron you'd change, you reverted back to your old ways. I don't think that I can change. This guy doesn't want to be on the show. <laughs> Josh, in therapy you seem to make big strides, but I'm still worried that when Ashley's back is turned and it's just the boys, you're going to regress. I still can't believe, again, this therapist lady, no one on the show, not a single person was like, don't you think it's egotistical that he gave her the bowling award? Like, she didn't say that? The challenge is humility this week, and no one said that that's ironic or weird or, like, not actually a real, I just, all right. Josh, please step forward and accept your humility tool Yeah, badge. called it. Called it, called it. He wanted to leave, called it. Do you want to call my name? I felt so relieved. I was like, you know what? Thank God, you know, I got God over me, blessing me and nationally. I kind of wanted to see Clarence's flips. So I kind of was getting used to I'm seeing sorry. five flips an episode. You're just a complete tool. A complete Your girlfriend tool. is waiting for you outside. But maybe Rob can flip more girls. So I guess there's still some flip potential. All right, please be fucking brutal. Dump his ass, baby. Then watch him do like a fucking triple somersault backflip to leave. Oh, his shirt literally says, I came to leave. Wait, what? So we had that ready? I don't want to hear anything you have to say. Okay. I want you to listen to me. The reason you got expelled from the Tool Academy is because I didn't believe in you. You're the biggest tool out of all these guys. And you know what? I'm leaving here without you, and that's all I have to say. But first, I'm putting on these boxes. Like you'll be gloves. leaving celebrity, not Clarence. I'm leaving both of you. Peace, bitch. 
Oh, we love you. If you flunk out of the Tool Academy, that means you're a tool and you're not going to change. She had that shit ready, though. She I had that shit ready. Ten years of my life on this guy. Ten that years. Is, I should celebrate right now because I've come into my own skin and I've let go of the past. <laughs> really? <laughs> Do a flip. It's obviously a circus clown. Everything Do he's flip. doing is just 100% <laughs> buffoonery. Peace so out, ladies. You guys want my number? That. So fucking stupid. One eight hundred loser. No, Thank I you. think we got it. All right. You came to leave by yourself. You know what? <laughs> you Soul Academy. I would have been in the club, drinking it up, Moet, partying, celebrity style. You just gotta call an Uber. An Fuck, that hasn't been invented yet. Shit. Is there another taxi? Punching a punching bag isn't enough. I need to scream. <laughs> no, sorry, I need to punch a person. They're both kind of weird. They're both kind of crazy. All right. Wow. Wow. What a show. It's so fucking good.